What is good, you sexy bastards? Welcome back. It is SCG, and we have a brand new video for you today. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and drop a like. Turn on the bell so you don't miss future uploads like this one. Now, if you also want to check out our merch shelf, you can click down below and get yourself some of that sexy SCG swag. And if you don't follow us yet on social media, you can find us anywhere at Stella Crew Gaming, and also check out our website at StellaCrewGaming.com. And with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get it. Welcome back, you sexy bastards. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you something super cool and amazing. This is a mini pet outfit, AKA save wizard or save editor outfits online glitch. So what this is actually going to do is we're going to be able to edit our outfits in the ped editor in save editor and bring these outfits online. Now a couple things before we get into it. Now this is going to work kind of like a double transfer glitch. So you are going to need to know your male to female components or at least be able to look them up. Now also because it is like transfer glitch, there is a possibility that you could lose outfits and there's a very good uh, chance this will actually happen. So depending on what components you are wearing on your current outfits, you could lose them. So before we get into that, I just wanted to make sure that very clear for you guys, but you can get things like the colored armor, you can get bulletproof helmets, you can get the IA badge, AA badge on the female character, but not the male. So if you have access to Xtiffy's lists, you can look through those components, but there's also a lot of components just through Save Editor you'll be able to find. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to be able to do that. So before I get in it, you're gonna to wanna to download the save that I have in the description. So I will have a male and a female save. And if you join my Discord, I will be updating with more saves in there as well. But these two will get you started and I'll show you how to edit them and how you can actually go ahead and make your own outfits with these and load them into an online session and save them. So first of all, we're gonna get into the save editor here in the background. So what we wanna do first of all is open up our save editor and then go in and open the file that we downloaded from the description. So if we're doing this for our female character, we're gonna download the female version and we're gonna open that up. Now you can choose to update it or back it up if you wish, but that's not necessary. Now once we're in here, you got three hangers. You got those two, you got the clothing, and then you got this one here right beside Trevor's head. Now this is the one you wanna open up. You wanna open up that one there. We're not gonna open up the clothing or the other hanger to the left. It must be the one above Trevor's head. So we go into here, you'll notice that even though we selected a female file, it's actually showing the multiplayer male. So this works like any other transfer glitch where it takes components from the male and it's gonna transfer them to our female. So if we wanna see what this is gonna look like, we can switch this to the female, pick the free mode zero one, and then what we can do is we can scroll through each option and we can see exactly what it is going to translate to. So you can also build your outfits this way. So you can pick the components that you want. So you can go through, put whatever skin, hands, slash gloves you wanna put on, whatever legs you wanna put on, uh, parachute bag or duffel bag, you can go into the shoes. So you can go through and customize this now exactly how you want. Now a big thing is just because it's selectable in here does not mean it's gonna be transferable. So when we switch back to the male character, we'll be able to see what the corresponding components are. Now, if there is no corresponding components, it's obviously not gonna go in online. So when you go to transfer online, it's just not gonna show up. So it's very important you know which components will actually transfer over. So you can switch between male to female. You can make a little note like I did in the bottom right hand corner to look up the drawable and the texture just to make sure it does actually correspond. Now what we do is once we have it the way we want, we're gonna click on that little save icon beside components, and then we're gonna export the file, and we're gonna save it again. Now once we've exported the file, we want to now re-import it. So we're gonna select the same one that we just saved, and we're gonna just go ahead and copy it over the one that we just did. Now we wanna click on save again. Now before we actually switch, and I just backed out of here by accident, before we go, we wanna make sure we switch this back to the male character. So we're gonna go back into here now, and so you wanna go back into the uh, main. So I was still on the female, cause that's what I'm gonna transfer it to, but I'm gonna put it back to the male and I'm gonna select the free mode zero one. And then I'm just gonna save this one more time. So as you can see here, these are the components that they're gonna transfer over to. So those shoes that I want are actually gonna be these scuba, scuba flippers. The IA badge is actually this blank teeth one, um, armor and so on. So you can again, go through it and just make sure that the components that you wanna transfer are going to actually show up and transfer. 
So once we have the outfit made like the way we want, we can go ahead and just save this. Now, um, of course, if you're gonna be just using the save the way I've given it to you, you don't even need to go into Save Editor and edit it. You can just go ahead and bring it over here to Save Wizard, select your profile, go into your advanced settings and just bring it onto your save. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna go into advanced mode, it's going to load up through here. I'm sure most of you know how to use Save Wizard by now, especially if you're watching this video. Uh, for those guys who have Save Editor and Save Wizard, this should be pretty straightforward for you. But the main thing is how you actually edit the file when you are in Save Editor. So remember, we're going to be building it up on the opposite gender um, and then make sure the components are going to transfer over. So now we're just going to go ahead and select that file and we're just going to import it over top of the save that we just made. Um, so once we have that on here, we're just going to go ahead and hit apply and then hit OK. So this is the one we just created in Save Editor. We're going to open it and then so there it will change the text there. We can hit apply and then yes and then it will finish it. So again, most of you guys will be familiar with this part right now. So if you don't have Save Wizard yet, I do have old videos that show this a little bit more in depth as well. So make sure you go back and check those out. So once we have the save exactly how we want it, we're gonna jump over to our PlayStation. We're gonna put our USB drive into it and we're gonna transfer the save data over. So I'm gonna open up my PlayStation right now and we'll show you how to do that. So here we are now over on our PS4 or PS5 and what we've done is we've gone ahead and put our USB drive in and we're gonna go down to settings. We're gonna to go to application save data and we're gonna take the information that's on the USB drive and we're gonna copy it to the system storage and we're just gonna overwrite the existing file that was in there. Now, once we've done that, we just wanna go ahead and load up story mode. Now, make sure you do have a regular save as well. So make sure you have a clean save. Um, so Franklin and Mar, whatever mission, doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and create yourself a new auto save or new um, quick save, I should say, before you do this and assign the save, the new kind of glitched out save to that. Because when we first load in, we wanna make sure that we actually do have the character already loaded that we're gonna be transferring the outfits onto. Because this save is super glitchy. So if we go to try to go into a swap character um, or into a session and change our character, it'll actually freeze us up. So you have to make sure you have a legit save first, go into an online session, make sure that so the selected character that you want the outfit on is already selected. Then we can go back to story and load that uh, save that we just entered, okay? So I'm just gonna go in, make sure that's all done, and then we'll meet you back in story mode. So here we are now loading back into story mode. So I've already gone ahead and loaded up the modded save. Now what'll happen is you'll spawn in as Trevor just like this. Now from here, you wanna go into your PlayStation menu and you wanna join somebody on your friends list. Now you cannot go straight into a session from the start menu. You have to make sure you go through the PlayStation menu and join somebody that's on your friends list. So if you have no friends, go into a public lobby and just send a bunch of invites to random people until you get, you know, maybe 10 friends on your friends list that you can just join off randomly. Sadly, today they took away the communities so we can no longer even go through the communities to join random people through there. So once we've gone through our dashboard and we've joined somebody that's in a session, even if they're in a private session, it will eventually take us into our own uh, public session. Now, when we spawn in, we wanna go into the time trial and we wanna hit right on the D-pad when we enter the time trial. Once the time trial starts, we're gonna hold down the D-pad and we wanna select Michael. We wanna go back to story mode as Michael. Now, when we do spawn in, you should notice you'll be the kind of glitched out outfit. All you wanna do is run away. So just like the old Frozen Money Patricia saves and your character will split. So if you run away, you're gonna be Franklin just like this. Now we wanna go down the D-pad and we wanna select Michael again. Now we should now be on the outfit um, on our technically online character as a male though, even though we're gonna be showing up as a female as I jump and uh, hit my crotch there on the post. Um, but so what we wanna do is just run around for a few seconds. If you do this too quick, you'll actually end up getting stuck in the clouds. And that happened to me a lot when I was doing this. So make sure you just kind of run around for maybe 20, 30 seconds. Then once you've done that, then we can go over to online, play GTA online and go into an invite only session. Now that's it for the glitch. We spawn in, we're gonna be wearing the outfit. It is that easy, that simple. So really the most time is just going ahead and building these saves to the outfits how you want them and making sure that the components are gonna transfer over. Now, as you notice, I'm not wearing the colored parachute right now. So what we need to do is make this visible. We have to get our friend to come in and join us in the session. And he's gonna register as a CEO or motorcycle club. And you wanna join his club and he's gonna go into the MC or CEO style. 
And all he has to do is go once to the right and then back to the left just to change your style and that parachute will show up. Now, very important when you go to save it, uh, make sure you do not open up your interaction menu until you get into the store or Yamination uh, or your apartment and save it. Otherwise, anytime you open up your interaction menu, the parachute will result, resol resol oh, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reverse back to the default one or revert back to the default one. So if that happens, you just need to again get them to go back into style once to the left, once to the right, once again. So once we get over to the clothing store, we can go ahead and simply save this outfit and that is it. So you can do this with any colored armor, any colored helmets. I will have the saves uploaded in my Discord. So if you're not a member yet, make sure you go check it out. Of course, you can take the two saves that I have in the description and customize them to however you want. Um, but that's the gist of it guys super easy super cool again just keep in mind you obviously need save editor save wizard and you can't be afraid to possibly or most likely lose some of your outfits if they don't have corresponding components but the cool thing with this is we can get all of it back pretty much and then we can go ahead and finish them off with beth if we have our two consoles but this will simplify it and make it quicker so once we have the save i just go ahead and force it just to make sure then from here we can go back in a story or even go straight to the time trial and do this again so I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is SCG. Until the next one, I'm out.